Darning holes is a great way to rescue favorite garments. It's traditionally done by hand, but modern conveniences mean that you can now darn your favorite garments easily by machine with common materials. This technique can be used on fabrics of varying weights, but is most effective on non-stretch woven fabrics. Linear holes of most sizes can be darned, but you may not be successful with open holes larger than two inches in any direction. Jeans often wear out in linear tears or L-shaped tears. These are often quite easy to darn. First, select a stabilizer. For lightweight fabrics, a lightweight fusible interfacing will work. Try to match the interfacing color to the fabric. White interfacing for light colors, black interfacing for dark. Heavier fabrics such as denim may require a second layer of support, such as quilting cotton or cotton muslin. This will not be visible in the finished garment. Cut the stabilizer larger than the hole you plan to repair. If you're using a fabric support layer, cut this smaller than the stabilizer, but larger than the hole. Before you begin to darn, clean up the hole's frayed edges as these will interfere with the stitching and may result in a messy repair. Simply trim loose threads close to the fabric weave with sharp scissors. If the threads are connected on both sides, as on this denim, leave them be. If the hole is hard to reach, open a nearby seam as much as needed. On jeans, open the seam that has the least top stitching. Restitch this seam once the mending is complete. Now, if you're using a cotton support layer, place it right side down on the garment's wrong side, and then layer the interfacing over it, fusible side down. Press the interfacing with steam and a wet press cloth for approximately 10 seconds to fuse. Allow it to cool completely before moving. Select your thread. For flexibility, I suggest using cotton thread instead of all-purpose polyester thread, which can result in a stiffer repair. Match your thread to your fabric for an invisible repair, or embrace the visible mending trend and pick a color that contrasts. There are two machined feet that work well when darning, the all-purpose foot and the darning foot, also known as a free motion embroidery foot. To darn with an all-purpose foot, simply install the foot in your machine and thread as usual. Then, set your machine for a two millimeter long straight stitch. Sew a border around the hole making sure the stitches are not touching any damaged parts of the fabric. This creates a frame to build the repair on. Once you stitch the border, begin to stitch following the fabric grain. Put the needle down and rotate the work 180 degrees. Stitch a second line, following just beside the first line of stitching. Continue until you reach the top edge of the frame and repeat until the hole is completely covered. If desired, you can rotate the garment 90 degrees and stitch perpendicular to your repair as an extra layer of reinforcement. Darning using the free motion foot can be done without support, but an embroidery hoop may be helpful when maneuvering the fabric. The hoop should be several inches wider than the stitching area, so the needle is not obstructed by the hoop. Simply hoop the fabric so the material rests against the machine bed. Slide the hoop under the needle before installing the presser foot, as the hoop may be too tall to fit under once the foot is installed. Then, install the foot in your machine. Most darning feet attach directly to the machine's shank. Tighten the shank attachment screw firmly, then drop or cover the feed dogs. As before, begin by guiding the stitching to outline the damaged area. Once the outline is finished, maneuver the fabric forward and backward, moving it slowly and steadily. Each stitching row should shift slightly so the stitching begins to cover the hole. Continue until the tear is completely covered. 
you can rotate the work 90 degrees and repeat the stitching if desired. Finishing the darning is the same no matter which presser foot you used. Pull the needle threads to the fabric's wrong side. Tie each off with the corresponding bobbin thread and clip close to the fabric. Then, press the area with steam to set the stitches and ensure that the interfacing retains its bond with the fabric. If the interfacing peels away with time and washing, trim the loose areas away, being careful not to clip into the fabric. Machine darning creates a sturdy repair that ensures favorite garments will be wearable for a long time to come.